and we're told that neighbors actually saw this incident. It happened right over here on this sidewalk here in Clawson on Chaco Lay. That's when they called police. I heard glass break. My dog started barking. I popped my head to look out the window. I seen the girl laying on the ground trying to get up and the guy standing over and two guys behind him kind of pulling him off her. Richard Pingle lives on Chaco Lane near Royal Oak High School. He says he heard arguing Friday night that turned physical. Brian Kishinick, Troy City Manager, has been charged with domestic assault and battery. Clawson police say he and a woman were heading home from dinner in an Uber Friday when things got heated. According to police, they got out of the Uber and walked down the sidewalk. That's when neighbors say Kishinick put his hands on her. And he's trying to act like he didn't do nothing, but you know, as you could see on her face, she had been planted. You know, there was evidence on her face that she'd been hit. Pingle says Kishinick could barely stand on his own. He uh, walked to try and get in this other car. It wasn't his car, he got in the back seat. He wasn't going anywhere in that car. He's sitting in the, in the car at that point. I, I had told him uh, he wasn't going anywhere. We have actually told him that, uh, you know, we don't want you back in this neighborhood. The city manager was arraigned and his bond was set at $5,000. Pingle says neighbors don't want him back on their street. Let's get this straight for the people of Troy. For all the people, this guy is a beast. And there's no doubt in my mind about that. According to Kishinick's LinkedIn account, he's been with the city of Troy for five years. The city wrote this statement saying their city manager was arrested and charged. Quote, Troy City Council started the process to call a special city council meeting for the earliest available time, which is Sunday, March 11th, 2018, starting at 4 p.m. in the city council boardroom. And police tell us they are still investigating this incident. Naya Harden, 7 Action News.